dressed in military uniforms, suspected to be Fulani husband, have invaded a farming community, Second Abumeri Ojobulu camp in the Uvia Northeast local government area of Edo State. According to Punch, the bandit invaded the village, scaring away villagers and taking over their farms, homes, and properties. Hmm. Villagers who reportedly escaped are now taking refuge in other communities around Okada. One of the victims, Matu Ali, from Taraba State, narrated his ordeal. I lack words to explain what I witnessed in our community. I have been here for over 20 years with my family and we farm. I was in my compound with my family having a good time when we started hearing gunshots and saw people running in different directions. I saw one Bini man running towards my compound and I asked where he was running to and he said his men have taken over the village chasing people away from their houses. So I called my wife and we ran for our lives. I did not see my children. Every one of us ran in different directions. Oh no. As I speak to you now, I did not know the whereabouts of my wife and children. One of the Fulani husbands pointed a gun at me and said they were for peace. He said they would only kill people if they refused to allow their cows to feed on their crops. You can imagine this. The yams and cassava you people have are for our cows. If you people touch our cows, we will kill everybody in this village. For us to be safe, we ran to the next community. Another victim, Sunday Chime, was quoted as saying, I have been in this village for over 20 years farming. What we saw surprised us. We hear gunshots and people running in all directions. We later discovered that Fulani Hesmen had taken over our community with sophisticated AK-47 rifles and threatening to kill us if we don't cooperate with them. For us to stay alive, we decided to run for our dear lives, leaving our properties and running to unknown places. We are calling on the security agencies to come to our aid as our community is under siege. Another victim, Ngozi Chime, said, The nefarious activities of this Fulani husband have been going on in our community for last two months. They entered into our farms, chased us away, and avast, avast our plantain to feed their cows. You dare not look at their faces. Some of them were in army uniform. We needed help. We need government assistance. She said, hmm. for how long Nigerians will continue to run for their lives in this country? Fulani has been terrorizing, bandits terrorizing, unknown gunmen terrorizing, and the Boko Haram. This is really a very serious one. Police and army, how many has been have you caught in this case? Have you made any arrest? Or is it IPO and ESN in military uniforms? Hmm. I do at the one Nigerian advocate who feels the whole world migrated from their three local governments and the Oba is the king of heaven and earth. They should not flee. They should stay and defend their land. I remember when they were given this Fulani and Esmer land in Bini, Edo at large, I warn about it, but they feel they are the agent of Nigeria unity. <laughs> oh my God, this is a really very, very bad too. Fulani has been asking people to keep quiet and watch their cows field on their crops. And where is all the Edo warriors? Insulting Mazin Namdekano, they should come out now and defend yourself. I will not like 
to start counting loss of life. Okay. Oh, has it reached south south? Hmm. There is problem. Obaseke is part of the problem. He is against open grazing bill. So Obaseke, you saw peanuts, you get monkeys. You saw peanuts and get monkeys. Edo State is now facing the wrath of men in military uniform. Oh my God. Nigerian country has been destroyed. No one is safe. And again, Nigerians residing overseas are now being repatriated back into Nigeria because Nigerian president has stood hero, U.S. Isha. Middle Belt is to evacuate every Nigerian citizen because he has a working he has waking the security with end power employment opportunities. Oh my God, this is oh my God, this is funny. Hmm. How much is end power? Hmm. How much across of living in Nigeria? Hmm. These are reactions by Nigerians, and they are still talking. Wow, a do should go and sleep. Fulani as men will protect them. Exactly what the Imo and Anambra states are witnessing far for years now. The same government, some security agencies, the same unknown gunmen. Why is it that if one problem happens to a state, the rest states will be happy? Wow, this is crazy. Huh. Where are the witches and wizards and their court boys? <laughs> when has men in military? Which as men in military uniform catch one of them now and know that they are not as men in military uniform, but Nigerian army? Hey, God, this is sad since we don't have government, local, state, the federal, uh, whatever. Open grazing law, resting and collecting dust. If it's the open grazing law <laughs> anybody is talking about, you have to forget it because. That law is not going to stay. It's not staying. The southern um, uh, politicians, these people, <laughs> they cannot stand by their words. That is the truth. In a number of states, Fulani has been as they killing people with their cows roaming around the streets in a number of states and all that. In Delta State, the same thing. Still killing people with their cows and all that. So. Forget about all those ones they just did. They they just talk for talking sake. You understand? The the truth is that we are in a deep problem. I'm dropping it here. Guys, kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much. Bye for now.